Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. This is the first tutorial of React JS. As part of this tutorial, we'll cover what is React JS, why React, how it works. Then at end, I'll walk you through the steps to install React on your system. Okay? I'll not discuss more theories as part of this introduction video, but we'll discuss the core concept which we really need to know. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> So at very first step, let's try to understand what is React.js. React.js is an open source front-end JavaScript library for building user interface and mainly it was developed and maintained by Facebook. It is widely used as a base in building single page applications. It is very easy to use and it allows users to create reusable UI components. Now you might have a question, what is single page application, right? Let me tell you. Single page application basically is a web app implementation that loads only a single web document at a time and then it updates the body content of that single document by JavaScript API. It won't load everything which is not required, which will make your application more faster. Okay, now let's move into the next step. Why do we need React.js? The main objective of React.js is to develop user interface that improves the speed of your application because React uses a different mechanism to load your page that is called virtual DOM or you can say virtual document object and usually the JavaScript virtual DOM is faster than regular or actual DOM. Okay, I will explain about virtual DOM and how it works in a moment. Apart from this, main advantages of using React is that it simplifies complex UI with the help of component and also you can reuse that component in multiple places of your application. Let me show you an example of component based development. So if you can observe this Facebook main page, then on top there is a navigation bar which is designed as a parent component called navbar component. And again inside that parent, there is few more child component like home component, friends component, video component and groups component. Now if you look into the left panel again, each features define as a separate component. Now the advantages in this component based design is that you can reuse that component across applications. Let's say you navigate to some different page and you want to access any of the component. Then you can simply call that component so that you can reuse it rather than writing duplicate code again. Okay. Similarly, if you look into the middle section, again there is few more component like post component and friends component. Now if you observe carefully in this single page, friend component reused three times in a single page, right? So this is one of the live example to explain you about component based design. Now let's move to the next point that what is virtual DOM and how it works in React. Okay. Let me walk you through one example. Let's say I defined one component called login component and I write HTML code something like this. So now when I execute this HTML code, it will load to the browser engine. And if it loads successfully, then on the fly browser engine will create one real DOM object or you can say real document object. Now inside that document object, it will load your complete HTML as a tree structure, something like this. Okay. If you will compare this HTML and this tree structure, you can find there is one body inside that there is a form. Then we have the two div and one button tag. And that is what the exact skeleton as a tree structure here. Okay. Now let's assume you want to add some additional field to this existing HTML page. In that case, what usually happened with other UI framework, browser engine again load all the HTML code to the real document object, which is really not required because we just added one single line, which we just want to add a checkbox. So it should take only that single changes rather than load the entire content, right? But React plays a smart role here. He use a concept called virtual DOM. Usually react create two clone copy of your real DOM object like clone one and clone two and both will contain the exact skeleton of your actual DOM. So now if you want to modify some element in existing HTML, then how react works here, whatever the changes you made, that changes will be captured by clone one. Okay. Then if you observe in the tree, as you added one checkbox in clone one, one additional input field is added here. Okay. Now, 
clone one will compare changes with clone two DOM object, and there is a mismatch with a new field called input. Then immediately clone one will change that value in real DOM object, which means only modified changes are reloaded rather than all the element. Right? This is what the virtual DOM concept React used. This is one of the main core feature of React to make it more popular in industry. And also because of this virtual DOM concept, React is faster than other UI frameworks. Hope this context is clear for you. We'll understand more about its internal flow in my upcoming session. Okay? Fine. Now let's understand how to do local setup to work with React. Okay? We'll just install few software so that we can start working on the React framework. Now these are the steps we need to follow. The first step we need to install the Node.js. Then we need to install the Yarn using npm. We are familiar with npm. There is two option. You can install Yarn or npm. So we will go with the npm because we are familiar with it, right? And then you just need to configure the create React app, and you just need to choose a ID to start writing the code. So Visual Studio is the best ID for front end. You can use that. Okay? Let's go step by step. Now let me go to the browser. If I will go to the browser, okay, let me open this. I can simply type here Node.js. Then go to this official page. You will find option to download the Node.js. Okay, the latest version is 16.14.0. You need to choose this LTS one, which will be long-term support. Just click on this. It will download Node on your machine. Once it will download, just install it. Once it download, you can open it in the directory. Then double click on it. This is same for Windows and Mac. Okay. Now just install it. Continue. Agree. Then install it. It will take few seconds to install. Fine. Now just open the terminal to check whether node installed or not. Then in terminal I can simply fire node hyphen b. You can see here we are getting the version b16.14. Now npm is inbuilt to this node. Okay, so I will also verify the npm version. You can see here 8.3.1 is my node package manager, which is npm version. Now, your next step, you need to install the yarn. But it is up to you whether you will install the yarn or not, because yarn and npm both used to install package and manage the dependency. Okay. Since this uh, React came from the Facebook and yarn tool also came from the Facebook, yarn is supposed to be faster and more secure than the npm. Okay. We'll use the npm, but let's install yarn as well. So to install the yarn, you can take the help from npm install. Okay, npm install hyphen g, which is globally, and then you can use the yarn download the latest version. So let me try with the sudo access. Okay. Okay. It will take few seconds. You can see here it installed the yarn. Okay. Now the next we need to install the create react app. I will install then I will tell you the purpose of using this create react app. So I will just use npm install hyphen g create hyphen react hyphen app. Okay. It will install it will take few seconds. Basically this uh, create react app uh, command line tool provides a ready-made React application starter. So you can dive into building your app without having a deal with any kind of web pack or any additional configuration. It provides out of the box. It will give you a development server with hot reloading feature. It provides testing environment, uh, environment with Jest and also it allows to build the React app quickly. Okay. It will bundle all your JavaScript and assets and there is many more features. Let's see why there is an error. Okay, again I need to go with the sudo access. Let me clear everything. Okay, I'll just type sudo. 
in windows it will work directly there will be no issue since uh, there is some permission issue on the user local folder in mac so i was getting this error now it is all good okay so we installed everything which we need to start react we have the npm we have the yarn and we have the node.js okay also we added the create react app uh, command line tool uh, globally so this is what the all setup and one thing you just need to add a id so you can directly go to the browser and type visual studio you can choose your uh, operating system i'll just choose visual studio code okay just go to the official page it will take few second and you can download here now since it recognized that i am using mac it suggest me to download mac universal you can uh, find or let me see here download yeah you can find the option here okay based on your operating system you can download it i believe i have already this with me yeah i already installed it just open it visual studio code this is similar id like intellij or eclipse it will help you to write the front end code using this visual studio okay okay this is what my visual studio so you just installed it then everything we are done with the environment setup in my next tutorial i will guide you how you can create your first react app also i will walk you through the directory structure of a react project that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept